probably like, Alaska, why are you in a pirate costume at the moment? That is because in today's video, me and my friend Ella are going to be building a pirate ship in Bloxburg. And at the end of the video, I'll be inviting all my subscribers to come and invade Ella's ship. And this idea was actually inspired by one of you guys called Megamind12300. They said, build a pirate ship, then throw yourself off the plank. P.S. I love your videos. This man really goes, I love your videos, but throw yourself off a ship. Okay, thanks Megamind. If you guys want your ideas featured in a video, make sure to comment them down below. And that being said, let's start building this pirate ship. Okay, first I need to name this plot. Um, I'm trying to think of a good pirate joke. Ooh, why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Because they can spend years at sea. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, before I do anything, I'm gonna split this plot up into two. So then this way we have my pirate ship and Ella's pirate ship. So starting with mine. If you don't know what a pirate ship looks like, by the way, this is what a pirate ship looks like if you live under a rock. Okay, the good thing is I have actually built a ship in the past before, so I don't think this is gonna be like too difficult. I also don't know how big I want this pirate ship because um I don't know how big she's gonna have her ship. Okay, I think I've made up my mind. I don't want a really, really big ship. You know what they say? They say little are the small Smallest wins, wins the race. That's what they say. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Okay, this is gonna be like. Samira, don't bite my flowers. Okay, this back bit here. This is gonna be like. Oh, what's what is it like the cockpit? What's the part in the pirate ship called? I need to Google this. Pirate ship parts. Yes. Um. The uh. Okay. What is a fossicle? What is a jibble boom? What is a jib boom? I don't. I don't know what any of this means, guys. Uh, I'm confused. Like I'm going insane. I'm asking questions and I'm not getting answers. Anyway, this bit here, right? Every ship has like the bed quarters. I also want like the bottom section here to be all beds. And then this bit here is gonna be like a meeting room. And then all my pirates can come together and kill Ella. Why is her ship so much bigger than mine? Look at this. I don't remember how I done like the front bit of the ship. I'm pretty sure I used a flat roof. And I think I made it come out like this. Wait, did I? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I think it was like that. And then I lifted this up a little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing but I am kind of just like hoping for the best oh my gosh get this right where I live obviously I'm not gonna say where I live but there is someone who owns a pirate ship I'm not even kidding they literally own a pirate ship and I went past it once and I'm like oh my gosh this guy literally owns a pirate ship and I'm over here like uh like why on earth would you need a pirate ship honestly if I had as much money as this guy I would probably own a pirate ship myself I'm not I won't lie to you I'm Captain Jack Sparrow now, because this pirate ship is so small, we can make it very detailed. And as in detailed, I mean we can layer the floors a few times, because, you know, I want this ship to be better than Ella's. Oh, and we also need fences so people don't, like, fall off the ship. Except this little section here, this is going to be a plank, you know, where people walk the plank. Yeah. And then at the back of this ship, we're going to need some stairs because uh, this top section up here is going to be where you can um, steer the boat. Okay, honestly, I think I'm just going to stick to logs for the texture of this boat. It's kind of a safe option. I haven't looked at Ella's, but I can see. Wait, what's Ella doing? Okay, okay. Why does Ella's ship look so much bigger than mine? You're joking. You know what? Size doesn't matter. Okay, one thing I'm gonna change with the front bit of the pirate ship is I kind of want this taller than the rest of the ship. So something like that. That looks kind of cool. Watch out, Ella. Okay, as for the windows, because I mean, every pirate ship needs windows. Most of the pirate ships that I looked at, they have these curved windows like this. And I'm actually pretty sure Bloxburg has these windows. They do, they're called curved windows. Beautiful. Uh, in that case, we're gonna add a few of these bad boys. Make sure they're even, don't worry guys. Oh, and we cannot forget the roof. Kind of forgot about the roof but don't worry i don't know if you guys have watched the show our flag means death but there's this main character called like bennett and he's such a goofy pirate that would be me if i was a pirate like i don't know what i'm doing but like i'm just here for a fun time you know i don't want to die oh god okay this up here this is gonna be a little bit different than the rest of the ship we're gonna use these fancy or ornate stone railing and we're gonna do something like that oh shiver me timbers look at that ship mm -mm -mm. ella what do you think about that okay ella's already looks way better than mine <laughs> i don't like the fact that ella's ship is leading directly into mine that's not gonna end well this was real life she could easily just like crash into my ship and burn it but lucky we're not actual pirates 
<laughs> Could you imagine me as a pirate though? Like, honestly, yeah, I see it. I see it happening. Okay, we've got kind of like the structure of the ship. Who knew building a ship in Bloxburg would be so fun? I'm having the time of my life over here building ship. I don't get why people are like, oh, Bloxburg is getting so boring. There's like nothing to build. Guys, you can literally build anything you want. I'm building a pirate ship. The thing I want to work on next is the, the flags. I don't know what they're called. These things here with the pillars and the curtain. Pirate ship flag name. I don't know what it's called, but this thing here. This thing, the the jolly the jolly roger i have a feeling that's not what it's called <laughs> oh my god it's not funny <laughs> Oh, the sail. Guys, I'm so stupid. Right, yeah, I definitely knew that. Anyway, for the sail, we're just gonna use like round pillars. I'm pretty sure there's three sails, right? I know there's one in the middle. There's usually one at the front of the ship and then one at the back, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I can see Ella is also working on her flag. Wait, what is she using? Oh, she's using vertical cylinders. You know, that actually would have probably been a better idea, but it's fine. Okay, it's fine. What can we use for the material? Diamond plates. Oh yeah. Okay, see how the top bit here is kind of curved? What if we use like game grill roof? Okay, what color is our flag? We're just gonna we're just gonna do white, okay? A nice intimidating white flag. Yep. A flag can be like a cat or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! And then for the front bit of the flag, we use a basic shape. I can see Ella's flags over there. They look so good. These bad boys, okay? Good old smooth cubes. This can be the good old sail in front of the ship. You know how some pirate ships you can actually like sit up the top here? The question is, can I do the same thing? Yes or no? You also need to make sure there's structure to the ship using some good old trusty small square beams. I hate how flat these sails look. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to try and make them, I don't know, not look flat. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that sail. Look at... Look at the structure. Mm -mm -mm. Ella just goes, oh my god, this flag is taken forever. Yeah, mine too. I haven't actually seen Ella's. Um, oh, okay. You know what? I'm I'm just not gonna look at Ella's. It's it's intimidating me. <laughs> Every time I turn around and see Ella's ship, I'm just like, oh great. Okay. Mine looks crap. Another thing I realized. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh looks like has flags. They do. They have these flags. Okay, update. Ella needs to change her decals on her ship. I love how we have this grand ship over here, which is Ella, and then we have mine. Mine's looking like a mashed potato right now. I second that hippo. Oh, Ooh, Ella's making me choose a flag for her ship. They all look really good. Um, wait, why am I helping you out? You're meant to be my enemy. This one's kind of cool. I like this one. Okay, you want to flag me off, Ella? Guess what? I'm going to use uh, vertical cylinders. Put little tiny stick flags on the top. We're going to put skulls. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, more skulls the better. I'm gonna be very intimidating. There's also these massive flag poles. I'm actually gonna add a few of these as well. Oh yeah, now it's sucking. Now instead of a flag, I'm gonna have a massive AV. Okay, that is the most uneven AV. I've ever seen in my life. We're just gonna have a little one in the middle. That's kind of cute. Welcome to the AV pirate ship. Arr. Get on board, matey. There you go. Best flag you've ever seen in your life. No why, but these flags are taking forever. I didn't know building a pirate ship flag. Boxberg would be so stressful. But anyway, there is our sails. The next thing we need is, well, the steering wheel, or as pirates like to call it, the helm. Yes, I had to Google that. Shush. All right, helms are pretty easy. Most of the stuff in this ship is gonna be made out of basic shapes, but like, oh matey, what do you expect? It's a pirate ship. Oh, okay. What about a vertical cylinder? And then for like the actual steering wheel, a windmill. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. All right, that's gonna be the coolest steering wheel. Sorry, helm. As for the furniture on the ship, we're gonna keep this very simple. Usually in pirate ships, there's just like a bunch of barrels. I don't know what they put in these barrels. I don't think I wanna know what they put in these barrels. You know what I don't get? We have these barrel tables, but we don't have them as an actual barrel, which is so stupid. Damn, what is Ella doing over there? Okay, another thing we're missing is torches because uh, as soon as it hits nighttime, it's gonna be very dark. So I think I might have a few of these tiki torches. I know not the smartest idea having a torch on a ship. Like, that's like made out of wood, but um... YOLO! Did I just say YOLO? Oh my god. Oh, you know what we can also use? Some medieval war lamp. And we're gonna keep this eerie yellow color for the lighting. It just suits the vibe. Okay, and as for the door, you know what? We're gonna do a custom door. Because we're just, we're just so fancy, you know? Also, as in a custom door, I literally mean a cube and two of these convex straight and there you go custom door. Thank you Thank you very much. Just to remind people whose ship they're on more of my initials at the front now Say my name Alaska, right? You're goddamn right
Okay, so far so good. Now, as for the inside of the ship, this is gonna be the meeting room where like all the pirates have their meeting. So we need it to look somewhat presentable. I don't know if pirate ships have chandeliers in them, but um, you know what, mine does. Surely, right? I mean, you're a pirate. Your whole job is to like steal antiques and like fancy stuff. So surely the inside is gonna be a little bit fancy schmancy. It just goes, help, why does mine look like that? I go over to expect the worst thing ever. This ship looks amazing. This thing looks like it's about to kill me. Um, a little bit scared about that. Okay, we're gonna have a big fat wooden dining table here where, you know, all the pirates can have their meeting. Doubt pirates are gonna have a meeting, but you know, don't Do we, we have chest? Chest. Oh, we don't. <gasps> Do we have a map? Oh, we don't have a map. You know what? Okay, what's gonna be in a pirate meeting? We need drinks and we need a map. Oh, wait, we're gonna use a decal. <gasps> Ella just says, Alaska, I'm stealing your wheels, soz. And I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this. Okay, what's like a good pirate map? All right, that one's kind of cool. Okay, this way, if we have a transparent cube on the table, then put the map on top, use the transform tool, place it on the table and boom. My pirates have a map. Okay, what else can we have in here? I just realized pirates don't have like showers or they don't have toilets. Like imagine how disgusting that smells. Disgusting! When I was little, I remember I was like, I wanna be a pirate when I grow up. Absolutely not. Okay, what we're gonna have in this storage unit is apples. You know, pirates love their apples. They also love their fruit or fancy jewelry box. I kind of forget that uh, pirates are kind of thieves. So I'm thinking in these storage units, we can just have a bunch of jewelry and stuff. Okay, what else? Oh, a Telescope. Yeah, just in case we need to like spy on Ella's ship. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Obviously, on the wall, we're gonna have a bunch of weapons. Actually, yeah, speaking of, we can just have random weapons on the ship. Hey, what do you guys reckon my pirate ship name would be? Alaska's Ship of Hell. No, that sounds too cliche. Also, intentionally making this ship very messy because, let's be honest, pirates aren't the cleanest people ever. You know what these windows are missing? Curtains. Oh, you know what we can have at the back here? Like, wanted posters. And then finally, for the bottom bit, I'm pretty sure they're called... Ah, cellar doors. Yes, thank you. A cellar door back here leads directly into the sleeping quarters. Okay, this little section's done, which means we can finally work on the bottom bit here. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna be basic and just use like bunk beds. Okay, these can be the beds, very comfy. How many are we gonna have? That is the question. I guess it depends on how many pirates we have. I think 18 beds is enough, that's plenty. And then obviously the ladder leading up to the ship. You know what, honesty though, I actually hate ships. Even when it comes to like cruises and that, I'm just like, Ugh. Like imagine being stuck in sea. Oh my gosh, have you guys heard about the nine month cruise? If you haven't, by the way, there's this cruise that's happening right now and it goes for nine months. These people are stuck on a cruise ship for nine months. Like, I'm sorry, how terrifying does that sound? I would get seasick. I don't even know if I can get seasick because I've actually never been on a ship. Oh no, God, no, no. No! Anyway, we have some windows down here. In case the pirates get a little bit seasick. Okay, the bunker's coming along nice. Ugh. My friends are so weird. Metallic joins my game. What's the first thing she says? Not, hi, how are you doing? It's, I'm gonna spew. And if I spew, it will be on one of you three. That's a threat and not a warning. Weird, buddy. You're weird. Okay, the bunkers of the ship's done. I think that is everything we need. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, obviously, is the plank. Like, we cannot forget the plank. Okay, we've got the plank. You know what we also need? A way to actually get up onto the ship. Because so far, we literally have no way to get up here. Okay, and I think that is our pirate ship all complete. Which means now we just need the water. Did you think I was using actual water? <laughs> No, I'll be using floor because I am poor. And literally, if we use foil as the texture, tell me that doesn't look like water. And just to be a little bit more intimidating, skulls. Just to be like, watch out, don't come for my ship or this will be you. Usually I'd have cannons to throw at the ship, but we don't have cannons. So I'm just gonna use these trash bags and they can be poop. You know, we can just throw poop at their ship. Okay, I know this is a bit morbid, but like, what if we have skeletons at the bottom of our water? Kinda messed up. At least people know not to cross us. Oh my god, what is that? Ew. Okay, Ella and I's pirate ship is all complete. The total of our two pirate ships comes to $269,000. So this is how my pirate ship turned out. As you can see, I added a few additions, such as the waves in the back. I mean, a few other small touches. For example, flag of Samira. I decided to name this ship 
the seven seas of Samira because I don't know, it just suits the vibe. So down here we have the bunkers. If someone comes down here, they will get jump scared by the skeleton. So yeah, this is my pirate ship. And then over here we have Ella's pirate ship, which I mean, you know what? I can't even lie and say she done a bad job because this looks amazing. I'm a bit intimidated by the fact that it's heading directly into my ship. Don't know if I should be scared about that, but I'm not gonna lie. I think Ella is secretly a pirate because the amount of accuracy in this pirate ship is like kind of scary. As for the layout, it kind of looks similar to mine. She's got a bunker down here with all the beds. And yeah, that's about it. So, so yeah, now for the time you've all been waiting for, it is time to invite you guys onto the server. But before we do that, we need to set the mood. So we're gonna set this to nighttime. All right, yeah, now we're talking. All right, so I'm gonna make my way onto my ship and wait for my crew to arrive. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I love the way this ship turned out. This is meant to be like lookout area where you can kind of hide in here. It didn't really work out, but as I am the captain of this ship, I will be right here. This is my place. And now I will just have to slowly wait for my crew to arrive. All right, we've got my crew here. As we can see, we have Ella's crew over there. Oh, <gasps> Poe's on Ella's side. Oh my gosh. The absolute betrayal from Poe. <coughs> okay, now I guess I just wait until Ella arrives on her ship so I can destroy her and her ship and take everything she has ever built in this world. Well, 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 if it isn't this- Oh my god, I just fell off my sh That's a bit awkward. Um, anyway, it's just you and me now, Ella. Are you ready to die? You ready to walk my plank? I don't know, but you can let me know how the water tastes once I throw you in. Salty like your jokes. <laughs> Girl, you're done. You're done. See these skeletons down my ship? That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this. Uno reverse card. <gasps> too far. That that was too far. She just Uno reversed me. You know what? That's it. You know, instead of me killing you on my own ship, I'm actually going to swim over to your ship and kill you there. Come here, fool. Yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Okay, wait, hold on. Keep still. You have something in your eye. Get a prank, loser. You loser. I just slap you in the face. She just sliced me in my booty cheeks. No, stay back. Stay back, you fool. Oh, I just I just dropped my sword. No, I just ah! I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. You know what? I can pick up though. You. Any last words, Ella? How does it taste? How does the water of your own ship taste? Not too good, does it? And just like that, not only did I take my own ship, I also took Ella's ship. <laughs> 